What is going on YouTube? Parker the Basehead here. I believe this is part five of the Sundown 18's build on 16,000 watts. Of course, in the last video, we got this box all assembled and we put my stain on it. My opinion, it looks really, really good, but it does lack that glossy look that I want. So we got some polyurethane to put on this. We're gonna paint the uh, inside of the port and the back of the wall. And we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for terminals. From there, this box will be done and we'll be ready to throw it in the Sequoia. So let's get into it. Real quick guys, of course, at the end of this series, we are doing the next giveaway on the channel. Huge shout out to Big Jeff for supplying a lot of the stuff. And of course, Defbonce for sponsoring today's video. Now, of course, we are giving away this Defbonce Apocalypse AAK 2000.5 Awesome 5 channel amp and a bunch of swag from Big Jeff Audio. So definitely stay tuned for that. To get into the giveaway, guys, you of course got to subscribe to this channel and you got to go like my Facebook page. Over on Facebook, I will be doing a post here when we get a little closer to the end of this giveaway, going over the exact details for the giveaway. So stay tuned for that, guys. And of course, once again, a huge shout out to Big Jeff Audio for helping out the channel, helping out with this build, and Defbonce for sponsoring the video. All right, back to it, y'all. Y'all, the box looks really awesome. Very happy with how it came out. Again, it's the same way we had stained uh, my old box with the 815s. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tape some of this up. I'm going to spray paint the inside of here with some uh, black paint just to make it look nice we'll of course spray the back there once that's done and dried a little bit we'll be able to pull off the tape go ahead put our polyurethane on this box just to give it that nice glossy look so let's do that <laughs> guys do you like super high quality awesome equipment oh sorry not this guy sorry about that but do you like super high quality equipment that looks awesome sounds awesome and outlast pretty much everything that i have tested out on this channel well if you do that is why i love partnering with def bonts i put all the def bonts subs through my most extreme test out of any sub and y'all they make it through and that is just ultimately why i love them also, their stuff looks super cool, not cookie cutter whatsoever. Now, whether you want an awesome amp, an awesome sub, some great crisp door speakers, Defbonce has you covered. I can't say enough good things about them, y'all. And I know most of y'all have seen the videos. You have seen how well these things do. There will, of course, be a link in the description below to Alfred Audio. Go check them out. We really appreciate them supporting the channel. Now, back to the video. Okay, got the polyurethane on there of course got to dry and everything now you are supposed to uh, sand it down after it does that we'll see guys I'm not going for 100 percent perfect here but if i want to i can but definitely a lot shinier and better looking than it was okay box ready to go guys all that we got to do now is add terminals for my subs now if i was going to mount my subs inverted i wouldn't even have to worry about that but i do think i'm going to definitely at least try them regular now some people will just drill a hole when they run the wire straight through it i've definitely done that in a crunch but not what i want to do here i do want to make this easy to pull in and out should i need to so we are going to be making some uh, terminals for this now we could go buy some like smd terminals those are super nice but didn't really want to go blow the money on that here no point to really since we can do that a much more affordable way basically what we're going to do we're going to do it just like the smd terminals would do it except we're gonna go straight through the wood. We've got some bolts. These are M8 by 1.25 by 45. So we're gonna have two here, two on the other side for the other sub. Now, of course, this is a dual voice coil sub, but these subs have the SBL recones in them and each coil is 0.7 ohms. So we're gonna wire each of the subs in series up to 1.4 ohms. That, of course, what I'll read in each of the terminals will then 
run them back down in parallel to about 0.7. So I'm gonna need, you know, two terminals. We also have nuts and washers. So we're ready to go. Now guys, getting all of these combined was $13. We also have Sky High Car Audio lugs, heat shrink, and we have Sky High eight gauge wire. I've used Sky High wire from the beginning and I really do love it. Obviously there's other good wire out there, but this works really, really well for me. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna drill my holes. So let's go ahead and drill my holes and get all this hooked up. Okay, we have our wire wired up and ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick our lugs through here. On the back side, I'm gonna put a washer. We're then gonna stick them through the holes. We then take two more washers, slide them over. We then take a nut. We're gonna tighten that down over here and over here. So we're gonna get these nice and tight. We'll then be able to run the wire from the amp with a lug right over this put another bolt over it, and that'll get the job done. Terminals bolted up, ready to go. Got them marked positive and negative. Guys, that means I think we're ready to load this thing up. Also went ahead and made up my wires. That way when I slide the box in, these will be ready to go. So stoked to see this thing in here. Like I said, just fits perfectly. Love the gloss on this thing. Definitely a good looking box. I'm very happy with it. Look at that, fits just perfect with my setup back here. So happy with this. Okay, real quick, as I mentioned a little while ago, these subs have been reconed. Also, they were reconed to 0.7 ohms. So what we can do here, we're gonna wire these in series. We're gonna go ahead and jump a wire from one positive on this coil to the negative on this coil. That'll raise each sub up to 1.4 ohms. We then can drop it back down to 0.7 ohms. So let's do that. For that, we're using some of our sky high eight gauge wire. Should get the job done. Subs are in, now four screwing them down. I'm gonna hook them up real quick, turn them on, low power, just to make sure everything works and everything is in sync. No point throw all the screws in here and find out you did something wrong. Just powered up the first 18s on the channel, guys. This is a super exciting moment, as you can imagine. Uh, barely any power there, and of course, not even screwed down yet, and it already kind of sounded good. So let's throw some screws in here, and then we can test it out. So I've had this thing playing for about five seconds. I already busted a tab off this and it, it was sounding really bad. And I thought, I thought a sub was like the spider was coming apart or something. I don't know what it was. I was scared. And then I realized it was just this sitting there rattling. So off to a good start. <laughs> well, we took care of that maybe. So try to.
reacting with two subs. This is so exciting. This thing feels pretty close to when I had my 612s in here. I'm not gonna say it's quite as loud. Stay tuned for the next video. We will, of course, be doing a DB test to see how loud we're really getting. But y'all, I am so stoked on this. I'm officially sold on 18s. It is incredible how loud just having two subs are. Y'all, this is blowing me away. Again, I remember when I had my, remember the first 612 build that I did, I could float and active some stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. And honestly, the box was about this size. Of course, I'd have six subs, one more expensive, but just when you have more subs, two. A little more complicated wiring everything up. Not bad, but just more wires and stuff you gotta deal with. Whereas over here, y'all, having two subs, this is nuts. All right, y'all, next part is gonna be the final part of this build series. First off, I'm getting some winding through these. I think just because I have my RCAs ran on this side of the car. Now, most of my wire for the amps is under the car, you know, the big zero gauge, but some of it does pop up right there. And it is running along with that with that uh, RCA wire. So maybe that's it, guys. I really hope so. Anyway, I'm going to pull all my RCA wires out. I'm going to run them through the opposite side here. So they really won't be in any contact with any of that, you know, big wire whatsoever. So that should be good. Once I get that done, we're going to put this thing on the meter. We're going to see how loud it is. We're also going to turn on the SMD meter. See how much clean power this amp is uh, putting out. So... That should be a sweet video, guys. Stay tuned for it. That's going to wrap this up, guys. But remember, as always, keep basing on.